Thank you. Uh, hi, uh, this is uh, some joint work with uh, the Cornell Lab of Ornithology and uh, my lab, my group at uh, UMass of Amherst. Um, and this is all one part of the, uh, the BirdCast project that we've been working on uh, for many years. We've heard a couple of talks about it. Um, and I want to talk about one piece of this, which is the, um, the use of uh, radar, weather radar data uh, to do large scale analysis of bird migration patterns. Um, hopefully this will play. Huh. Uh, so uh, this weather radar is actually an incredibly information rich data set um, that's uh, now been available. We have like uh, 20 years, 30 years of uh, historical records of uh, weather radar now, or weather data available now. Um, and it's been used in a lot of different studies uh, in the past, but mostly only on very small, uh, small scale studies of like a single species and a single site uh, somewhere around the country. And this is largely because it's an incredibly um, difficult data set to work with. Um, so uh, our group was interested in, in finding ways that we could uh, use the continent-wide uh, data that we have available to us um, to do very large-scale patterns of, of uh, very large-scale analysis of migration. Um, so uh, this turns out there, there were a number of um, technical challenges that came up that have been solved kind of over the years by different people in the lab. Um, and uh, we'll talk about, I think I have three different things that we've worked on at the poster session. Um, one of the big challenges was kind of trying to find ways to take uh, humans out of the loop uh, in processing the, the radar data. So we've had some automatic classification for detecting uh, migration events in the radar data. Um, we've had uh, uh, done some work on trying to forecast uh, upcoming migration events to uh, influence management decisions um, for large uh, upcoming events. Um, and uh, I also have some, uh, some uh, results on the biological side of things, some of the analysis we've already done, uh, although I think we've really only kind of scratched the very tip of the, uh, the potential that's there in this data. Um, I'm also uh, very happy to talk about the data itself and some of the tools that we've developed. Uh, if anyone's interested in uh, getting their hands on some of this and doing some of their own analysis, uh, there really is a ton of uh, potential here in this data. So, thank you. <laughs>